for every project separate forest clearance including wildlife clearance as required shall also be obtained the expert committees for environment and forest are separate expert bodies with national level experts having independent opinion the interstate issues between assam and arunachal pradesh shall be amicably settled regarding upstream projects of subansri lower project in subansri sub basin honorable supreme court wide order dated 21st august 2009 stipulated that any proposal on the upper stream of subansri river would be considered independently on its merit by the standing committee as and when submitted by the proponent energy and economic benefits from the project are as follows assam will be getting 208 megawatts allocated power in addition it will further get 25 megawatt of free power total unallocated 300 megawatt power is further proposed to be allocated by government of india in terms of energy assam will get around 533 megawatt which is more than 25 percentage of the total power as compared to other states who will obviously have much lesser share in terms of energy this is equivalent to about 2000 million units annually valued at about rupees 600 crore this power is in addition to the already existing allocation of 733 megawatt power from central generating stations the current shortage of about 100 megawatts and the projected demand of about 1800 megawatts in 2016-17 along with share to assam in other central sector projects such as palatana bongaigaon etc will be addressed by the commissioning of the project against this requirement total state owned projects of only 100 megawatts is expected thus the central sector projects will be contributing a lot to the need of power to the people of assam the direct energy related benefits from the project to the people of assam will have multiplier effect on the economy the project will enable increased hours in availability of domestic power with the availability of subansri power costly merchant power could be avoided major economic development in assam for setting up of industries will become reality with adequate power due to construction of the project substantial revenue is being generated for government of assam in form of various tolls taxes and royalty of forest produce such as sand aggregate etc the project will be crucial for much required business and employment opportunity already during construction more than 5000 local workforce were engaged for the project as assam and even the entire northeast has little coal and gas resources hence hydropower is the only viable source of energy to support the overall economic development of state besides energy flood attenuation or moderation and minimizing erosion benefit can further be multiplied if assam utilizes the water for irrigation purpose for multiple cropping by constructing suitable barrage and canal system properly conceived irrigation project which is in the domain of government of assam will definitely add to the prosperity of the region for which subansri lower dam is a prerequisite navigation and tourism in downstream will also be added advantages generating avenues for income to downstream population also major economic development would be in downstream areas as witnessed in northern states like himachal pradesh jnk punjab rajasthan and haryana construction of subansri lower project will pave way for development of projects in upstream of brahmaputra basin essentially required for flood control and economic activities will boom 
in the region with setting up of industries, increase in business and tourism activities which will ultimately benefit the region. Major storage projects conceived for flood control of basin once completed will stabilize the river and yearly flood menace would be thing of past and future generation will witness the benefits of development.